Hello, my name is Daniel Hutchison. I am from Post Process Technologies. I am the president and CTO of Post Process. We specialize in the post printing needs of 3D printed parts, from the applications of photo cured resins all the way up into the high end metals. Hi, I'm Jeff Mize from Post Process Technologies. I'm the CEO and I joined the company at the beginning of this year. Uh, we launched at the show yesterday what we call our DESI Duo. It's a new hybrid series that we have that performs both support removal and surface finish. The two biggest challenges right now in that third step of uh, 3D printing, the post-processing, is with support removal and surface finish. Our customers have been asking for two things. One is a smaller footprint for their laboratories as well as their production facilities. And so we have one machine that does both support removal and surface finishing, different processes, but in the same machine, and secondly, speed. As volumes continue to grow, uh, customers want things to work faster, and so our DESI Duo, the first machine that we've launched under our hybrid series, uh, pr uh, removes the supports more quickly, as well as finishes the surfaces more quickly. What it does is it utilizes uh, multiple forms of uh, agitation, which we couldn't cr control through our uh, agitation algorithms, which is the software package that comes with our machines. We've utilized software. We're a very intense software company because it takes a lot of uh, number crunching in order to remove the supports from 3D printed parts. But in one of our traditional systems, if it took three hours to get the surface finish, we can get that same surface finish in 30 to 45 minutes with the Desi Duo. So a, a rapid increase in overall speed. The post printing industry is just growing. We're one of the pioneers within the post printed industry, i.e. post process. Um, we, we have uh, saw that the 3D printing companies are really at the front end of the supply chain when we're more closer to the customer. So what happens is, is we take more attention to detail, and that's a company core value in the deliverables to the customer parts. And so what we do as part of our overall sales process is do a customer needs identification step where we sit down with the customer and don't just discuss post-processing, but talk about the end-to-end -end process from design to print to post-processing. And then uh, most often we make suggestions to the customer that we're not going to change the form, fit, or function of their 3D part, but by making some design modifications, we can expedite the post-processing. Uh, we have customers in automotive, uh, medical, aerospace, performance athletics, energy, the list goes on and on and on. What's interesting as well is that the problems they're having in aerospace or in dental or in medical or in performance athletics are pretty similar from a post-processing perspective. Uh, but they're, in, in my time at Post Process, I've been really surprised that uh, we've worked with customers in industries that are, are in the dozens. So we'll be experiencing exponential growth for probably the next 12 to 18 months because of our current customer demand and also the future customer demands that we get through uh, trade shows such as Rapid and the TCT.